the shit cause we been putting in the work. Mm, putting in the work, huh? They don't know about my squad, niggas turn. I got day ones with me, you should see the ones that turn. Nick lighter, just in case I'm playing the gas on bridges burn. I've been taught the game by OGs, but some say I never learned. Been the same. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. It's your boy Money. I'm feeling good today, man. How y'all feeling? And y'all already know, man. We back with another one, man. <clears throat> we gonna get right into it. I don't even feel like I gotta introduce this guest, man. You know, he he I feel like Vlad, you know what I'm saying? He becoming a regular guest on here, man. Welcome uh loose cannon to the stage. What's going on, brother? What's up with it, Kurt? I can't call it. I can't call it. Hey, man, shout out to the podcast about nothing. Y'all go tap in, tune in, subscribe to the podcast about nothing. You know what I'm saying? What's going on, brother? Man, we got a lot to talk about today. Now, what what, what, what are we talking about, bro? You know what I'm saying? You hit me up. You said, let's do the live. You know what I'm saying? They talking crazy. What's going on, brother? Tell me what's happening. No, but this is like a uh, a message. And it's for like the um, you know, the cryberry cry um baby brick baby, right? It's like cubs crashing out, but that's not even the worst part. The worst part is the niggas on no jumper, um, before he even get there, they talking reckless, big bad about cuz like talking crazy. When he get there, you get what I'm saying? He he not addressing the issue, but the the fat nigga, um, Yogi Bear, cause um, you know, like, oh, now they homies. You get what I'm saying? But when it first started off, cuz was like, oh yeah, he turned down. He can't say nothing to me. Like, cuz on some Buster shit, and then it's totally different energy, and it's like all these niggas is bitches. I'm telling you, like, he's man, let me start here, right, bro. Because <laughs> why did Brick come in here? And it's like, it ain't even getting over on nobody. Nobody is believing that you really came in here. Everybody's calling it a crash out, but it's like, you really didn't crash. And you really, you just went in there, you did a bunch of animated shit. You know what I'm saying? And you didn't address DW. And DW had on the, the scuff you up uh, Air Forces. You know what I'm saying? He was ready to get his squabble on. You feel what I'm saying? Then this YBG dude. Now you and DW best friends. You supposed to be running back fades. Now it's nah, gang. I ain't feeling that, gang. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, you y'all so weak, bro. I'm I'm tired of these niggas, man. Yeah, but see, the thing is, we can't let DW flame off the hook too, right? Because on six zero, if I have an issue with a nigga, it can't be no deflecting shit. It's like, cause me, you have to get out regardless. I don't give a fuck what you're talking about, dead homies. We have to get out, but. Brick Baby ran a, a play on Cuz. Um, DW Flame didn't do what he was supposed to do and get up and slap the shit out of him or say, nigga, I'm not shaking your hand until we get that issue over. So nigga is 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 saying it all on Brick Baby, but on 6-0, DW Flame didn't do his thing either. Cuz did like some buster shit. So, so let me ask you this. If I know we got some funk, right? And this basically, I, I, I look at it kind of like that's basically a brick baby platform because he was there and more established. Might got people in the building. DW showed up. You know what I'm saying? He didn't know what could have been waiting for him or whatever. And he said he talked to him. You know what I'm saying? He showed up and he was ready to scuffle. So I got to give him the respect on that because you had on the dirty air forces. So you must have been ready to squabble. No, that's how these niggas dress. But you said you saying he he let him he let him run the, the the play on him and then he didn't address it. But it was like yeah, but, but uh, I just felt you have to really think about it, right? If I have an issue with a nigga, it can't be no talking. Oh, six up, we have to get that over with. Then mm -hmm. we go back and sit down and chill and do whatever we want. You can't be talking big and bad and then when cuts show up. You letting him run that play. I would have said, hold on, cuz stop all this bullshit. Nigga. But he did. I feel like he kind of did though. Uh, uh, he was like, hold on, Brick, hold on, Brick. But Brick kept going. He like, no, nah, cuz no, nah, they be they be they be asking these questions still, for three days. Two way street, bro. Mm -hmm. You you can't just hold it on Brick. Brick was a little bit smarter 
and knew, well, let me take the, the pressure off this situation with D.W. Fling. Let me go and attack my baby mama and go attack a this. Is, is that smarter or is that scary? And then it's like, and then on top of that, would, does D.W. really get points for like pressing the line or pressing the issue to, to, to run that thing when we all the world see this nigga scared. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like it's like whooping a it's like whooping a scary nigga don't really get you no points. So it's like you come in, you, you I feel like he was he was he was like trying to run the play to to get out the to wiggle out the situation. So if you see somebody wiggling, everybody see you wiggling, his best friend right there saying, Man, that nigga scared, boom, boom, boom. It's almost like now if you press the line, you almost bully him. Oh, that's finesse, bro. That's yeah, like, for sure. We we in LA County on six oh and I seen I go in a Hoover dorm um dorm or whatever like that. And um I go in there or whatever and don't say anything. Don't say where I'm from, don't say nothing or whatever like that. When a dorm flip, I'm saying six oh this and six oh that these niggas is looking at me like like bro, you didn't we asked you where you was from. And you didn't say anything, right? So when the dorm flipped, and then now there's a neighborhood dorm, you that's some buster shit. But DW Flame didn't even call it out. DW Flame didn't say, like, hold on, like nigga, you trying to finesse me or whatever. No, like but he was crying. I feel like he was crying on 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 live TV. It's like at this point, you because listen, I'm, I'm gonna say it like this, right? When 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 DW was talking to uh, when DW Flame was talking to YBG, right? He was like, "Yeah, man, you know, I, I hollered at him. He was like, Rick, uh, come sit in your seat, man. Come sit in your seat, cause you know what I'm saying. Come up here, sit in your seat." I feel like he was really talking to Brick, but he was saying it. He was trying to keep it. He was trying to keep it, uh, honey. Like like I ain't gonna put it out there that I did tell him I need that, and I did holler at him, and I'm here. I'm waiting on you. Come on, cut. Come on up here, uh, sit in your seat. Like we gonna run that, then you can sit in your seat. But I need you need to come pop up. Yeah, but at the end of the day, he showed up. When he showed up, Cuz still didn't address it. You was big popping it before Cuz got there. Mm. Hey, no, know. he really he, he didn't really pop it though. I feel like he kind of hey, you know it, it, that, we, we, right? he kind of he kind of was just like. Like, hey, I hollered at him. I don't want to talk while he ain't here. Uh, you know, basically just like, you know, we gonna dress it. We gonna dress it when he pop up. If he pop up, you feel what I'm saying? And, and when I really looked in close on the screen and seen he had them scuffed up Air Force Ones on there, I said, oh yeah, oh yeah. You know what I'm saying? And so he, I, I don't know. I just respect a motherfucker being willing to squabble. I don't respect. A motherfucker coming in there crying and and, and, and and trying to turn up on everybody else. And why you ain't turn up on YBG? He in there hating on you. Then you run this cleanup campaign talking about he was trolling. Nigga, everybody know he wasn't trolling, bro. You call this nigga, bro. You like to clean that up, bro. You tell him I was trolling or something. Like, come on, bro. And you sitting next to him. And you that's supposed to be your homeboy. Go ahead. But you have to really think, too, right? If a nigga telling you this, right, and y'all talking or whatever like that, public eye, it's like, nigga, you're going to have to do something about it. The nigga, um, Yogi Bear nigga, could <laughs> literally say, listen, um, if you don't want to get in with cuz, man, you're going to have to get in. You get what I'm saying? We're going to get in and get that issue out the way or whatever like that. If you don't want to squabble or – but DW Flame is not – Brick baby size, you get what I'm saying? Yeah, so, yeah. end of the day, is it's not a fair matchup or, or anything like that. So you, that, you that's why I feel like Young Fairy Gordy was was weak because it's like you supposed to be there to be Brick backup. You only on the show because Brick brung you on the show, yeah. and you are here trying to be best friends with a nigga that's calling itself beefing with your homeboy. Now it's like, I ain't feeling that gang. Now he gang and everything else, and, woo -woo -woo. and you both in the back fade. Yeah, I agree that they're different weight classes, but you got a homeboy that's supposed to be up there running your back fades, and he damn near shitting on you, sitting in your seat, and, and saying he the new host of the goddamn No Statements. Like, what? Man, that nigga weak. So, but you have to understand that's um, bitch ass Yogi Bear um, and Brick Baby. It, before that even happened, he was already running his play. He didn't even see what happened before that. So you can't really blame Cuz for 
that whole situation. You can everybody want to throw Brick Baby under the bus, right? Mm -hmm. Cousin's a buster. We know he's a sweetheart. That's off top. Like cousin's a known bitch. So he just yell and and scream and thinking he say dead homies and six o and that's like some gunshots you get what i'm saying like, <laughs> like you cannot like you said you cannot say you have a willing participant to fight a nigga that's like me handing the nigga a gun or whatever like until you go do something he go to the block and don't do nothing but we should giving the nigga credit talking about he took the gun and he was willing to go do something no he still didn't do nothing yeah, man. No, listen, y'all niggas not understanding. Cuz still didn't do anything. Me, six, I would have slapped Buster ass up. You get what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. it's it's a proven fact. Nigga, you, you watch Batty and the Beast, bro. Keep watching it, nigga. I'm getting in fights and fights. and I'm not giving nobody no passes. Dead homies. Like, niggas be acting like... They super turned up and they this and that or whatever like that. They not that. Like, I have more to lose than all these niggas. You get what I'm saying? But nigga, mm -hmm. I'm nigga play with me. Hey, it, 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 and, and I ain't gonna lie, bro. You know what I'm saying? I, I've been interacting with you. We've been, you know, doing our thing, right? And when we popped on Brick Live with Young Fairy Gordy and Brick, they, they, they had all kind of energy for 600. But you, you literally in the comments telling them, I slap the shit out of you. You a buster. You a bitch. Ooh, and they, hey, man, come on, tap in, tap in, loose cannon, tap in. And no, no they, they had an energy for you. So that's crazy. It's like, why? It, it must be that they know you really going to get on top of their shit or something. Because okay. niggas don't be responding to you the same way. I ain't going to lie. No, see, the thing is, it's like, I'm not about to be keep doing like the i'm gonna have i'm gonna prove a point and they know that so it's like the the fat nigga yogi bear and then the cry baby it's like because these niggas is just known busters bro <laughs> like these niggas is entertainers and that's what i wanted to let brick baby listen i know you listening bro just do podcasting bro that's it be a superstar podcaster bro you can get money just like a rapper you can get money just like a producer by doing your shit. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Do your shit. Get you some, um, you know, endorsements. Get you some product placements. Do something positive, black man. Because nigga, the game banging shit is it's not true, bro. Like, I don't I don't know. It's like you on drugs. You need to go into rehab, bro. Like you need to really take a listen to mirror. So let me ask you this, right? You mentioned the uh the the weight class thing. Is that like something that's taken in, con into consideration in the hood? Like if you gotta go run your fades, you can't. They can't put you in in, in there with with a big nigga or something. They gotta kind of be your size type shit. It's not, it's not that it's just fair. If, if niggas gonna line you up, they are gonna line you up with ten niggas that's your size. You get what I'm saying? It's not it's not a fair. Thing. You get what I'm saying? So you we can't just hold Brick Baby and Cannibal. Like Brick Baby will probably have a squabble with Whack 100 because they about the same size. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Even though uh, Whack will beat the shit out of Brick Baby, and that's not a fair fight. But at the end of the day, that will happen. But it's it's still the size that counts. It's like um, Crip Mac, right? You know how Crip Mac talking about that. Oh yeah, he was squabbling and stuff like that. But he took it, win, lose, or draw, regardless of the fact is he didn't shy away from anything. Even when he said, Oh yeah, I lost or whatever like that, I got hit hard and cuz he just did. Cuz probably can't take no punch. But that's just him. Do you get what I'm saying? So 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 let me ask you this, right? Like we, so with with the world, with the world seeing how Brick played this, right? Is this like a, a DPable offense? Is this like you turn down or you on here crying and, and you didn't really go over there and handle your candle? Like, is this something that that, that a motherfucker could get DP for? No, because cause like the niggas, first of all, DW Flame is the enemy anyway. So uh, these niggas, But I'm saying, but but when he turned down a fade with an enemy, ain't that like 
against the rules or some shit? No, because it's really you, the enemies don't get no fair fade. Mm, okay. So you can we everybody is missing a point. Nigga, he did not he did what he was supposed to do and deflect the whole situation. DW Flame on Crip, bro. He didn't do what he was supposed to do. Mm. So, so, so help me, so help me, so 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 help me understand this, right? Because I hear what you're saying. You saying fuck all that uh dramatics, fuck all that stand on gangster and, and slap the shit out of bud. I ain't trying to hear all that. You come in here with all that dramatics. You should he should have got up and slapped the shit out of buddy, even though it's a parent brick game one. No fades. He even said, I mean, if we got to. He said, even if we got to handle something, oh, you're going to be my nigga at the end of it. So I took that as, as like, you saying, like, even if we have to fight, because I don't want to fight you, we're going to be cool afterwards. So it's like, I don't know. I just, I just, I don't know, man. I, I feel like where I, how I came up, when you pick on a, on a motherfucker that really don't want no problems, you don't get no credit. And, and I feel like the world seen that you in here crying, you in here ducking and and, and, and and pushing it everywhere, but where it's supposed to be. You talking about whack one, honey. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. But cool, but at still at the end of the day, right? Cuz was still supposed to do his thing. Like, shut your buster ass up, like with all this um theatrics crying. You know what I'm saying? DW Flame should have said something. He had all this in energy, like, no gang, you crashing out. You East up, east like, like bro, come on, neighborhood crib nigga. We don't uh, condone that. So it's so, like, so, go ahead. He shouldn't. First of all, right, DW Flame and these niggas is homeboys or whatever like that, and they supposed to be that tight or whatever like that. When the niggas from Forties came up, extra and uh, Spotty Face. Nigga, DW Flame should have said, nigga, oh, they about my size. I'm gonna go outside and I'm gonna get that. You, you run the back fake. Do you get what I'm saying? Because I don't give a fuck if it's enemies, if it's me and whack, right? And a nigga got a problem with cuz, dead homies. I'm going to run that fade. Six mm -hmm. You trying to press cuz and cuz with me. So I'm going to take that disrespect. Yeah, that's, so I'm, that's exactly where I was about to go was to young Fairy Gordy. But let me answer this. Uh, Let me answer this um comment. Aren't y'all in the same city? Why is this talking when y'all could just meet up for a fade? So who are you talking about? Who's meeting up for the fade? Who's in the same city? You sound confused, brother. Get your comments together and then come back and holler at me. You feel me? Yeah, you got to be Chris. <laughs> me and you know, I've been asking these niggas for fades, nigga. That shit go over their head. My bad, bro. I had to move this out there, goddamn doing yard work. All right. Um, so let's see. Let's see. He said, ain't y'all in the same city, but my bomb salute to y'all in LA because Chicago y'all would have died. Okay. So, uh, I don't see how we, uh, okay, would have died. DW would have died or we, we for reporting on it. I don't know. I'm confused. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I want to get to this young Barry Gordy or young fairy Gordy situation, bro. Like for one, <clears throat> Listen, put in Barry Gordy name uh, a legend with this buster ass bitch ass nigga, bro. Neighborhood Crip, cause it's Yogi Bear. Like th that's is blasphemy for a nigga to name himself a a legend name. Like, bro, use a bitch, Crip. Hey man, I ain't gonna lie. Hey, just just I got a whole I got a whole section of what I want to say about Young Fairy Gordy, cause it's like this this guy, man. For one, you 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 have your homeboy put you in position, right? You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And, and you a bigger dude, so it's like you know you kind of around to kind of keep things cool, keeping you know niggas up off them, right? Boom! Now people are turning on your man's. You feel what I'm saying? And you call your you ain't even defending your homeboy. You ain't standing by your homeboy. The same person that got you sitting on that couch right there right now. You're not defending him or nothing. You just, nah, he's buster. And da, 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 da. as soon as he walk in the door, you like start, oh man, you was scared. You was a bear. You a buster. It's like, I don't like fake, phony, snake ass niggas. He in there in the seat talking about, I'm the new host. You should have seen his face when Brick walked in the building. He was just like, 
damn, this nigga showed up, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You have to understand too, right? Y'all keep everybody keep putting it on brick. It's two other niggas that was supposed to do what they was supposed to do, and they didn't. Mm. Ran a play. You can we could call cousins a buster and all that stuff like that, but we know that already. You can keep beating a dead horse. You can't squeeze water out of a rock. Like cousins a bitch, bro. I told you these niggas are gonna throw rice at a China man's wedding. These niggas is not like that. Hey, I, I feel like okay, so let me let me let me answer the on everything podcast. Y'all go subscribe to the on everything podcast, man. You know what I'm saying? For Chicago local news, man, and, and updates. But hey, um, it says not y'all, but this meeting uh meeting up for phase. So basically, I want to say I appreciate that in California, in some instances and cases, they can meet up for a fade and it just be that. You feel what I'm saying? Because in Chicago, you whoop a nigga, he gonna kill you for sure. You might yeah, but, you probably not even gonna get a fade. You gonna well, just 30s and switches out there. Go ahead, bro. Yeah, but we have to respect the nigga that uh, said that comment, right? Because it's it's a, a point to the comment. The comment is it's like this, right? An enemy don't get ahead of fade. Mm. And he's right. No, nah, he is. He is. You get what yeah, I'm saying? I'm just, I'm just saying, like, out there in Chicago, they just going to blick you down. You feel okay. what I'm saying? They going to blick you down off the top. You feel what I'm saying? It ain't no fades. I just respect that in some instances in California, you niggas is men enough to say, we don't need to take this there. Let's just run this fade, and whoever, you know, come out on top, Real? that's what it is. Not scary buster ass niggas, bro. I I slapped this shit out of brick, baby. I have to watch this nigga when I turn around because he might shoot me in the back. Because nigga, I slapped this nigga on camera. You get what I'm saying? Uh -huh. that nigga, he is. But at the end of the day, it's, it's it's not like saying that brick baby is not gonna shoot a nigga, right? Uh -huh. I just ultimately say, cuz is a buster. When it comes down to fades and stuff like that, cuz gonna turn down every single one. Every single one. When you on drugs, nigga, you gonna crash out for show. The the smallest and the scariest nigga on drugs is gonna shoot you. I I don't wonder, like, you know what I mean? He he be talking like he, he was just big and high power when he was um you know locked up, man. But it seemed like since he began out, since he got out, he even got smaller, smaller, and like you said, it seemed like that's everybody's uh, view of him. It's like, oh man, you just. You just a, you just a smoker damn near. You know what I'm saying? You just you just a pill head and you ain't on really no business. Hey, but let me ask you this. What you how you feel about Adam saying to DW that he's gonna have to box um he's gonna have to box uh brick babies brick babies um chopper? Like, is that not dry snitching on your own employee saying that this guy for one has a chopper? Two is scared to fight you. You know what I'm saying? And you say that on your on your show. I don't know if they were live or not, but even if it was, even if it was live, you didn't edit it out or nothing. Ain't that like you basically setting brick up to go to prison, bro? He's already out on on, on a gun case right now, and you talking about he got a box of chopper? Why? I mean, is that is that? Am I tripping or is that just snitching, bro? By your own boss. But you have to understand, Adam have no rules. The civilian, he don't give a fuck. It's entertaining. Like he got all these niggas um, working for him fighting. Like that, that, his that's, that's, to his ahead. money, bro. His, his family or whatever like that. These niggas is replaceable. He's gonna go and get another. Nigga. He built his platform so big, he could get any nigga to go do the same shit they doing. So nigga, it takes time. Let them crash out, and we replace these dumb niggas. That's how it works with Adam. Man, and it's and it's crazy you say that because it's like that's literally what he does. You know what I'm saying? Um yes, he boss. basically he, he he crash niggas out and then he just replace them. Like another thing, what you feel? Uh hold on, give me two seconds, bro. Let me uh um sorry about that, bro. So how you what you feel about him bringing a uh, trail or T Rail's little brother on the show and, and, and basically 
like using him as bait or just like kind of uh, just like taking. Oh, I got I got hang this up. Uh, taking advantage of the situation, like ain't that that's so snakeish? Like he bro, don't got no morals, bro. Oh, you have to understand, it's not his fault. It's his brother's fault for going on a platform talking about his brother, his own family. We fuck all the other shit, bro. You can't keep blaming Adam for entertainment. He don't give oh. a. Fuck. You have to blame the people that's sitting down. So, so, so tell me this. So like, you don't think that, um, you don't think that it should be some kind of level of respect or, you know, some like, okay. So take, take for, for example, right. I got, I got contacted by Alex Alonzo, uh, the, the, the supposed ex-wife, the sister, I got contacted by everybody on the planet. You hear what I'm saying? But sure. I feel like there's a level of respect and professionalism that it's like a line you don't cross. You don't feel like he might have crossed that line by 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 involving like this this real gang culture. Like somebody I can't think of who who said it, but basically somebody was saying he's putting them in real life or death situations for entertainment. You don't feel like no. that's kind of bogus? Nigga, they put their self in it by doing it. Like, nigga, well, when you have like you said, you have integrity. You have morals. You have a different thing. So do we uh, um, blame the shooter or we blame the messenger? Uh, you get what I'm saying? So, like, y'all have to stop relying on Adam. Adam, nigga, all he cares about is views and his money. Mm, so you, okay. nigga, it's like this, right? And let's go back to the slave, slave days. You bro. got it. house niggas. You got cotton field niggas, and you got niggas that was set up for entertainment, right? So, do we blame? Um, they segregated it. The nigga T. Rail was calling him a pedophile, so nigga he feel like, well, let me just go get one up on this nigga. Let me bring his brother. Let me see this. Uh, see if I got an opportunity or opportunities to get his brother in here to smut him. And then the nigga should have said, "Fuck that! I'm not going against the grain for my brother for nothing." But he did, so we we can't blame the uh, uh, Adam for that. We have to blame um, T Real Brother. That's the snake. Oh man, you know, yeah, definitely, definitely T Real Brother is moving weird, bro. Like that's I, the, like T Real did not do anything wrong, bro. AD is his homie, right? AD, mm -hmm. Is, is is his nigga? If he don't want to talk about a subject, he don't have to. That's his platform. Uh, I I just felt like you can't say a nigga is not from Hoover or whatever like that, or he's not that. But he just had Schoolboy Q from Hoover on there. You get what I'm saying? He got mm -hmm. other from that. So if he's not gang um, banging or whatever like that, he's probably a gang member or you know. Game banging and the gang member is two different things. People don't even understand that. A gang banger is frontlining it. A gang member is somebody Act. that and that uh, like passes time. Like nigga, I'm always gonna be he, I'm from here, I'm from there, but I'm not actively banging. Exactly. And people don't even real, realize that. So it's like like bro, we can't get mad at Adam for bringing his brother on there. We have to get mad at the nigga that his brother for it. Coming on there and saying and doing what he's doing, because Adam doing what he's supposed to do. He an entertainer. That makes That's sense. But but let me ask you this though: Do you feel like Trail is bogus for not paying his brother when everybody seems to know that his brother is the muscle for him, and that's the reason he ain't get stepped on? It's because of his brother. I mean, do you feel like he should be cashing him out, or what's your thoughts on that? Listen, niggas talked about Jesus, niggas. On Jesus until Jesus died, bro. Like, just because he's probably he's probably paying him, but it's not paying him what um, he's getting. So you mm. have to think about it. Cuz built his whole platform by himself. Cuz took an advantage and an opportunity to better himself and 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 try to create a, a platform like No Jumper. You get what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. why the fuck would a nigga literally? Um, pay somebody that his hard work and what he's been um, 
paving the way for it. He got kids. He got a wife. He got certain things. Like, come on, cuz that don't make sense. So, so let me ask you this. So, <clears throat> you think it's cool if <clears throat> uh, what, what's 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 bro name? Uh, bro name? Big deal. If, if big deal goes over to no jumper, starts working with them and all of that. You don't think that's disloyal, or what? You think it's just business? What's your thoughts on that? No, he's a disloyal ass nigga. But at the end of the day, it's like you have. The Willie Lynch syndrome, right? Willie Lynch syndrome is like this. Willie Lynch told everybody he was like, be able to slay them forever. So what we have to do is just keep them from fighting amongst each other so they would never get together and be strong. That still happens to this day. That's why they had house niggas. That's why they had cotton field niggas. That's why they had niggas that did entertainment. That's why they had uh <coughs> Niggas that worked in the house and, and did certain things. We they segregated us and it's still in our DNA. It's still a generation curse. So people it's not really understanding. It's like, bro, it's just a Willie Lynch syndrome. And they're getting played. They just because a nigga uh make more money than you, that don't mean he's more successful than you. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like if people get money and success, two different things. Like Bill Gates. And we could go um the Tesla owner, right? Like nigga, they both successful, but do it make one more successful than the other because one got more money? Like, no. Okay. So um while we on this trail situation, right? Did you uh did you see the situation with uh Trail and I think his name is Young Rich Moolah? Is that, is that his name? You know what I'm talking about? No, nah. young. Okay, uh, okay. Well, if you ain't, if you ain't see it, I can't ask you about it then. But um, yeah, man, I just feel like this, 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 this whole. Well, I'm gonna just tell you about the situation. So, um, it, it's this guy. He's a pyro. You know what I'm saying? He came there with his wife, and he came to trails. Um, you know, establishment. He seen all the orange, and he, you know, seen all the stuff. He was just like, he wasn't really feeling it, right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> then, um. You know, after they left, they was talking crazy about him, and then Buddy popped up and took a picture outside of Trail's house. You know what I'm saying? And they were saying that, you know what I mean, like Trail cop pleads and shit, because you know he was saying, "Man, I got kids in the house and all of this and that." But then that, you know, then the story come back around, like, "Oh, he ain't really do nothing. He uh, took a picture and dipped off." You know what I'm saying? So like, like how? How, how you feel about that? It, it, if a motherfucker come and, and take a picture outside of your house. But he really didn't really do nothing. He just took a little photo shoot and dip. But that's kind of disrespectful. And you threatening his family and his kids. Like, how you feel about that? Is that is that is that cause for like you know real it's, movement or what you think? Of course, it's called for real movement because he did it in a point to intent to harm. He wasn't mm. doing it as he didn't get permission. Like, mm. <laughs> cause like that's some weirdo shit. But at the end of the um, day, what made him do that? Was they talking shit and he found out about it? Yeah, they was talking crazy and whoop and then saying like he like they pressed him. So he popped back up, said he said allegedly that he was there for like 15 minutes live, like telling them to come outside, wooty wooty woo. But they didn't. And, um, you know, so big deal. And, and it's trail it's response. Go ahead. It's a two way tour with that situation. It's like you, you can't invite somebody to the. Uh, your establishment and especially your home and then later on talk shit about him like nigga you invited him to your house he knows your location he knows like you got to be smarter than that so that's just a dumb move basically on both parts okay okay <clears throat> so let me ask you about man uh batty and the beast man i've been i've been tapping in i've been tuning in every episode y'all going crazy bro i ain't gonna lie man you slapping the shit out of niggas daily on that motherfucker you know what i'm saying so um can can you tell us a little bit about what may be coming up on the next episode and, and why people should tune in and uh, what they could be looking forward to yeah yeah so basically we got a lot more drama but now there's gonna be like um big celebrities that you know on there getting slapped and punched on <laughs> so um a lot of niggas always get exposed you get what i'm saying like right one nigga um talking about um oh he didn't get beat up it was a fake fight you get what i'm saying and that's last episode and mm. we 
thing what happened, right? Cuz is a buster, right? Like mm-hmm. these niggas don't go on podcasts and stuff like that. Like, bro, I can't get mad at y'all niggas for being exposed as being busters. Y'all mm-hmm. niggas talk furious on the internet. Y'all be typing like a motherfucker. And <laughs> nigga, when you in a position and you around me, nigga, I'm a shit starter. So mm-hmm. I'm gonna want to see what you about. Nigga, you talking all that big rah-rah shit. Like, nigga, you got to show me. It's like, nigga, I'm from Missouri. Nigga, the show me state. I'm crib. Like, nigga, <laughs> nigga about. So, but people don't really understand and, and feel like, like Kanye is cool. Y'all niggas be a bunch of Kanye West niggas, bro. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And, and stay in your lane. But these niggas want to poke their chest out and then when they get inflated they want to blame everybody and their mama okay so i know i know someone wanted to ask you about so spotty face you familiar with him and well i mean everybody gotta be familiar with him now you know after the recorded call so how do you feel about spotty face recording the brick baby conversation and then releasing it so these two different questions about him recording in the first place and then releasing it. How you feel? It's content. You see, mm. you see, they don't have a voice that get their name out, right? Mm. Like no jumper and stuff like that. But um okay, damn. Okay, so they don't have a um, voice to get their name and stuff out, but they also do have a way. Let me record this conversation. I'm going to put it out on YouTube and stuff like that and see where it goes. That's their content. That's how they making their moving their things. Niggas put, like, you got, Breaking them got a public platform to diss and say anything they want. So when it's fair games and niggas do it to them, now it's like, oh, you a police, you a cop. But nigga, y'all doing the cop shit on no jumper. Mm. But when a okay. nigga get how's that cop shit okay okay so so you feel like it's all fair game like he is playing the game yeah it's fair game because nigga y'all got a public platform or whatever and y'all can say and do whatever y'all want you get what i'm saying and Mm. nigga you playing the game trying to make niggas look bad and like you just this tough ass nigga right so nigga they got one up on you they did what they was supposed to do See, people people say is 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 not fair, right? Until it happens to them, then it's it's like, oh, you doing some police shit? Fuck you, you bitch! Mm-hmm. No, nigga, you've been doing it and trolling these niggas for weeks, saying mm-hmm. stupid mm-hmm. shit. Like, oh, like you see, niggas don't get mad when it's is is not fair to them. Mm. Yeah, man. I don't know. It's just it's 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 it's, it's crazy, man. It's it's seeming like this this shit is really exposing the real and the fake, you know, out here, man. It's like you know uh, the, the decisions that these guys is making, you know, is really surprising me. And it's just like I be hearing you, you don't you 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 wouldn't understand. You wouldn't believe how often I hear in my comments, y'all supposed to be out on the West Coast gangbangers, y'all acting like high school motherfuckers, woo, woo, this, this, and that. And it's just like, it's it's really all about content, clout. Motherfuckers want to, you know, be in the spotlight. You know what I'm saying? But, so, um, But think about this. What can Spotty Face, Four Extras in them do on a platform they getting destroyed on by the nigga that's um, supposed to be like this super tough nigga or whatever like that, and then they get him on the phone crying. You get what mm. I'm saying? Can I get mad because nigga, you've been destroying these niggas for weeks, and then when they reverse it on your stupid ass, then you want to get like, oh, oh no, like, oh they did this to me. They some cops. Like no, nigga, you's a bitch, and you will always be a bitch. And you see how this shit with Big U, right? Big U left these niggas for dead. So I said, I said it too, and you reposted it. I said, listen, Big, you setting y'all niggas up, and he's going to leave y'all for dead, bro. Mm -hmm. What did he do? That's exactly what he did. He he sent him out there to go crash out, and then he he just played the background, got quiet, and let let, let Bert take all the heat. 
That's exactly what happened. And I told you, the nigga, he know me, right? So he was like, shit, as long as I don't say anything, I'm going to let these stupid niggas do it. And then Ken ain't going to do something to them. And I can do two birds in one stone. You get what I'm saying? And so, but these niggas is busters. They're not going to never meet up or anything like that. So it's safe. And then Big E was like, oh, it didn't work or whatever like that. But I'm going to step back because then the whole world is on these niggas. I, I I thought I had a plan. Big U is not smart at all. If Cuz was smart, Cuz would be saying something, but he dumber than a box of rocks. So it's like you you can't even blame Cuz because Cuz just come up with the stupidest ideas and thinking it's gonna work. Dang, I was just about to ask you something about this guy, man. Um, something with Brick and Big U. Dang, it slipped my mind that fast. Oh well, Big U not fucking with him. That's the that's the thing. <laughs> mm, so after he used them up, now he ain't fucking with him. No, he don't fuck with him at all. Like, like, bro, it's too many things that we already know. Like, Brick Baby don't know Big U. I know him. Mm. I, so it's like he used them because he said, oh, he got a platform. He could probably, you know, water down loose cannon and stuff like that. So the truth won't get exposed. And it backfired on him. Now, everybody is attacking Brick Baby because he's a known buster. Mm. No, man. Um, so as far as the... Um, have you have you heard any updates as far as the call, the cease and desist, the lawyers, and the whole situation with that? What's what's the status with that? Yeah, so my lawyers and and his lawyers is going back and forth, um, like right now and stuff like that. So it's like, how you don't want to sue me? You wanted a cease and desist for that phone call and stuff like that, but I put you in the episode. Um put like a, a, a light on you with the Draco situation, right? You in there, or whatever like that, you you really acting like you want to sue me about that, but you really don't want to because I didn't expose you. But now when I expose you, or whatever, it's going to be like, yeah, oh, I'm suing this nigga, fuck this nigga, and all this other stuff like that. But it's like, if I'm showing y'all niggas content from years ago, what makes you think I don't have the content now? You got the phone call. You get what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That was already leaked years ago. You get what I'm saying? So we can't we can't do nothing about that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So uh let's see, man. So the next episode is coming out when Wednesday at five. Yeah, yeah, Wednesday at five, every Wednesday at five o'clock. So when it clears up uh, gonna, like that, I'm gonna expose it. And regardless of the fact is, if it's not on the show, it's gonna get exposed regardless. Oh, I'm not hearing you, bro. Can you hear me? Yeah, can you hear me? Okay, I, there you go. Okay. okay, there you go. All right. Nah, man. Um, definitely. You know what I'm saying? I've been tapping in, tuning in. So it's like <clears throat> I want to talk a little bit more about this baddie and the beast. Um, you know, show y'all are running right now on Urban Flix TV. That's an app like Urban and Flix, like Netflix, that y'all yep. can download off the off the um what is it, the app app store and download it. And it's pretty cheap, man. Like I said, I got a month for uh set up for what eight dollars or something like that. So that was cool. You know what I mean? And there's other stuff on there that y'all can watch as well. You know what I'm saying? So y'all go tap in with that. And and think about it too, right? They had, I think, like 10,000 subscribers. When we jumped on it, it's over a million subscribers now. So it's mm -hmm. like, we did our shit. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, and it's, yeah. people want to uh, tell you, yeah, I'm not watching it. Nigga, y'all watching it because we got a million plus subscribers in three weeks. So it's like, I, I haven't even checked now. There's been two more weeks. But it's like, it's growing and growing and growing and growing. You get what I'm saying? So I think mm -hmm. we moving in the right direction we ain't gonna stop until we we build the platform to a 100 million 200 million um platform then we're gonna just go for that billion dollar market we we see bigger pictures in the bigger light than everybody else so so let me ask you this um <clears throat> <clears throat> what's the status with 
uh, China, Mac, have you heard anything? Yeah, oh, no. Is he giving you any response? What's the status with that? He's another buster, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you, I can't get that nigga on the phone for nothing. He won't meet up. He won't do nothing. Like, I, I've been... A lot of these guys been out the country, man. You know what I'm saying? I wonder, you know, I seen him. He was in India and then he was in all these countries. I'm like, man, he running around. I'm like, are y'all running from something? What y'all all in all these countries for? No, bro. He's posting old content. He posted mm. content acting like he was um just go out. He posting old content, right? He posted content like the nigga literally is out the country. No, he's at home just hiding and ducking and being the bitch he is. Mm, okay, okay. So before before we get out of here, man, is there anything that I haven't uh, addressed or brung up that you wanted to you wanted to address? No, we had to just stay sucker free. We had to make sure these niggas know they stay in their place and they hoes. And like, it's cool to be Kanye West type of niggas, bro. That's it. I. And I promise, you, man. But you already know, y'all already know. I'm gonna keep y'all updated. Any information I get, I'm gonna bring to y'all. You know what I'm saying? Uh, <clears throat> you know, losers tapping in with me, man. You know what I'm saying? So we gonna keep bringing y'all the content. We gonna keep updating y'all and keeping y'all in the loop, man. Um, you know, shit. Y'all need to go tap in with baddies and the beast, cause I swear, I promise y'all, they going crazy on there, man. And it's other, it's it's other things that y'all can tap in and tune in with when y'all subscribe. So, you know, they got other shows and stuff on there too. So, you know, I, man, Los, I appreciate you, bro. Um, you know what I'm saying? Coming in and always tapping in with me, man. You know what I mean? It's, I appreciate you, man, for the show. You know what I mean? Yep. So, um, so everybody check out Batty and the Beast on Urban Flicks. Get out of here. Good luck. Right. It's all good, bro. Till next time, tap in, tune in. You know what I'm saying? It's game of time exotics. Yep. All right. And let me play this music on the way out, y'all. Is this some shit just for better or worse? You got me, but all you got is the problems I have with her. Told them back to work. The nap is work spectacular, but vernacular. If she leave, then that's on her. I got God with me. I'm about to take them back to church. If you hanging on me on my soul, promise that won't work. If you hating on me on my soul, promise that won't work. Only get to do this shit cause we get to work Yeah, we only get to do this shit cause we put in work Wonder what's the price of love and why does it cost it all I'm up on the list, if I'm on the list then you can cross me off This shit just like you're looking tired and I ain't lost with y'all Told me to take my time, I don't waste my time at all